What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. So I've been getting a lot of complaints about some of you guys getting booted and kicked from the servers for trying to play the Rookie Premiere solos. Now these are the solos that, you know, pretty much, you know, solo challenges, whatever. They try to make it challenges, but it's always going to be solos for us old school mudheads. But um, what's happening is this. There's several ways for you to kind of fix this glitch. Now I, right now, I'm not having any issues with it, but you know, I generally tend to like, you know, uh, generate best lineup and I do different things with my lineup all the time. If you guys watch the videos, you guys know, dude, I'm always raid selling somebody or doing some other kind of shenanigans, right? So look, I, I just want to point this out because I was actually speaking with someone in the previous video when I was telling you guys how to get the Rookie Premier collectibles doing the endorsements. These endorsements are not the Rookie Premier solos, right? So they're obviously separate. These, I showed you guys how to do that, check out the previous video, but right now, many of you guys have been getting booted from any of these challenges. So I'm gonna show you what's going on. Now, I just did one to test it out to make sure that everything was good, all right? I did it, five stars, whatever it is. I'm gonna go into the next one and just pretty much show you guys that it's working. So whatever EA Sports did, for the most part, it's two ways you can fix it, but I'm just gonna show you guys that you can get into it, um, you know, rather seamlessly, PS4, Xbox. I don't believe that this is an issue. There's an issue on uh, PC. If you're on PC, let me know, because I do have a couple guys that play on PC, but I don't think that there's an issue going on. So I'm just showing you guys that I'm actually getting through it. That way you understand, before we go through everything else, that these challenges should be playable to everyone that's watching this video. All right, now, for the most part, some of you guys that don't understand how to generate lineups and, you know, to remove the things from your visual tab, I'm gonna go over that. But I'm just clearly showing you guys, you know, I don't wanna do these, all right? I don't, I don't think it's worth it for me, but I'm gonna make a video because you guys are letting me know you're having issues and you guys are what's important. So I'm gonna take, yo, look, I'm gonna take the time out to do it. Dude, I do not wanna play into the challenge. I'm being completely honest with you. I told you guys this, I'll rather spend the money, bro. Like, I'm not trying to play challenges. But if you guys are having problems, I'm having problems. So pretty much you need to get five tackles. All of these things are on arcade mode from what I've seen, and they're very, very simple, right? You just want, you want them to complete it though. Obviously, I don't want them to really fumble right there, but I'll hit stick them anyway. It's arcade mode, so anything is gonna be a fumble. Um, you know, I'm just giving you guys examples of what's actually happening. All of the challenges are very, very simple. Like, it's like, guys, it's so easy a caveman can do it, no Geico. All right, guys, so you shouldn't really have much issue. Uh, okay, stop making him fumble, bro. Okay, give the ball back. Dude, I gotta punt these guys back the ball. I don't, I don't even wanna deal with this, bro. See, that's why these things with the tackles, this actually causes a lot more problems because it's arcade mode, so the computer, your players, your defensive players, if they're decent players, they're gonna make them fumble. And then you can't just get all the tackles and stuff like that. I like to just try to get it through uh, relatively quickly, but of course, you know, EA Sports is gonna have you guys making them fumble, and then you can't really prevent them from hitting the CPU that hard because it's arcade mode. So you just go through it, do whatever you have to do. Hopefully you get it where, you know, the guys are just running the ball every time, and you get three, then you punt it, get another two, and then you're done. But for me, you know, I typically have to go, but he's gonna run play action, I thought right there, you see that? I thought it was gonna be play action. So we should probably be able to get the last two. So there's no lag, there is nothing going on, I'm having no issues doing it, all right? Just so that you guys see that it actually has been fixed to an extent, but some of you guys, you, you guys that were having the problems earlier on, you haven't done some of the other adjustments. Some of you guys have pretty much removed um, the actual items from your uh, visuals tabs and it's worked seamlessly. Some of you guys have done that and it still hasn't worked. So the other thing that you're gonna have to do is just generate best lineup. I'm gonna show you how to create a separate lineup and that's it. You don't have to do anything else. There was, bro, can you just, who is that? Haskins, of course, that dude sucks. Of course he let it go to the next quarter. This dude right here, man. Just, yo, dude, just throw the ball, bro. Just, yo, hike it and throw it, dude. This guy sucks, man. Bro, what, Haskins, what, why is he, dude, didn't they get rid of that guy? How is he still there? Hit him, hit him, hit him. All right, so look, that's it. So you go ahead, you win it. You're gonna show all the stars here. You'll get the five. And I'm not gonna go ahead and continue, but I'll just show you that it does come up. You can still keep going. You can still keep going and it's no issues, right? Now, let's return back to the challenges. You're gonna see we got the five stars, all that good stuff. Um, and that pretty much it's, you're all set to go, right? Now we're gonna go down to what's been causing you the issue of not being able to get through with those challenges. So we'll back out, go ahead, great, great, great. Uh, you'll see that we got the five stars. Everything registers, nothing is going wrong. Everything right now, absolutely great. We're good to go, right? We got our five, I did it twice. Cause I tested it before I did the video and now I'm testing it live. So if EA wanted to do me dirty, they would have booted me during the video so that way I look like a complete idiot. But instead, it worked out, right? 
So let's go ahead and back out. Now, how did I do this? What did I do? What, what kind of fixes did I do to make this happen? Well, pretty much for me, I didn't have to do anything with the visuals tab, right? You can just pretty much go to generate best lineup and then you can move and match and do whatever you want. So look, this is what happens, right? If you want to create like right here, you can change your active lineup first, right? You go to check, change your active lineup. You can create a new one. Like right now, I'm on my team. Your mom's is mine, right? So that's where I am. If I want to go and make a new lineup, I can just go ahead and create a new lineup by pressing triangle on the PS, you know, PS side. If you're on PlayStation, Xbox, just read what the icons are, create a new lineup. And then after you create the new lineup, you're going to go to generate best lineup, right? Once you do that, it moves everything where it's supposed to be. And it takes everybody from out of position and it puts everybody in a natural position. That's one of the ways that you can do it, right? That's the way that I, you know, I, like I said, I often do it. So it probably just registers and I just move guys around and do whatever I want. After you, after you do that, after you change the active lineup and you generate best lineup, that should work if this doesn't work, right? The team visuals tab. Now you would simply have to remove these things. You just press square. If you're on, um, you know, the PlayStation side of square, Xbox is just the X button. Take these, take all of these items out. Just take them out. Take out your, your John Madden coach, whatever, and then just make that be empty, and that should work. For me, you can see it's working with the stuff in the visuals tab. For those of you guys that were able to get it done without doing this, like the way that I was doing it, all I did, generate best lineup. Simple. Bam, 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 wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now look, if you guys want to, you know, pretty much like you, you want to see everything that I got going on, it's nothing special, right? I got a 49er Steam team. There is nothing else special going on. All I did, generate best lineup, do put people where they're supposed to be. I'm going through everything, letting you guys see what's going on. There is zero special, like there's nothing special about what's going on. Everything is good to go. You know, you see I have, I have people in the right spots where they're supposed to be, move a couple guys around. Just giving you guys that insight to let you guys see. I didn't do anything. I always make sure when I'm showing you guys that it's very, very transparent. Because it's important that you don't have to keep going to several videos and trying to you know investigate it further. Look, it's simple. Generate best lineup. You know, you could go, and like I said, you can still go back and put cards where you want them. But when you generate best lineup, it kind of resets the game. And it, it's, it's weird with Ultimate Team, right? So now, after you do that, like I said, that's everything. Um, you could try taking away the visuals tab. Just doing that usually works for some people. I just think generate best lineup is the easiest way to go. After you do all that, if you're still having issues, if you if you uh, go ahead and you, you remove everything from the visuals tab, you try that, you generate best lineup. Once everything is done like that, reset the game. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna select it, you're gonna close application, and you're gonna go back and start mud up again. Before you even go to the challenges, you're gonna do that. After you generate best lineup, uh, you do the visuals tab, whatever, but you can see when you do the, uh, the generate best lineup, you don't need to remove the stuff from the visuals tab. So it's like a two-step process. If the, just removing the stuff in the visual tab doesn't work, generate best lineup should work. Many people that I've already spoken to, I've already gotten feedback from it, it works for them. So you should have zero issues if you listen to both those things. That's the troubleshooting that you have to do. After you do all that, right, and you get uh, the 393s, some of you guys want to know, like, because this is the thing, right? You guys want to go the cheapest route possible. So with the Rookie Premiere, this is what you get from the milestones, right? You get 93s, right? So the Premier Fantasy Pack, you start to get, at 60, you get one, all right? Over here, uh, what is that? 160, you get another one, and then you get another one with the final thing at 250. So that's three 93 overall Rookie Premieres. That's gonna give you three Rookie Premier Collectibles, which you are going to use in the sets to go ahead and help you complete um, you know, your rookie premieres uh, that you can get collectibles for the next Madden. Not the card, you can get the collectibles. So let me go ahead and break that down for you as well so that everybody understands. You no longer need to run around and try to figure it out. It's all explained for you and you're all set. So those 93s, you're gonna put them in here and instead of me having to buy them, you're gonna get three of them for free, right? That's it. It's gonna help you to complete the sets. Now, everything right now, you can see that they're going up in price. Um, like I said, they've been as low as 48k. Um, you know, they've gone all the way up to 70. People know that, you know, this is the last part of what everybody is trying to do in Madden. So they're going to raise the prices as it gets closer to the July date. Like I think it's like July 12th or something like that. Make sure you double check when this expires. We're going to check it right now, but it pretty much tells you with the ticker uh, when it expires. So you have an idea of what's going on with that. And um, 
you would get three of those if you complete all the 250 stars of the challenges that I, just, that I just showed you. So you would save about 180K if you get them for 60K per, right? Now, okay, it expires in 20 days. So you got 20 days to finish this from the time that you watch this video. I'm pretty sure you veterans are gonna be all over it. Then you just gotta go here, dude, and just do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying, bro? I, I think I got, how many do I have left? I think I have, I've done five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, so I have four left. Okay, so I have four left, right? One, two, three. Make sure I'm getting the right check marks. Okay, so I have four left. So. I got to continue to grind the game. I'm going to do the endorsements. I'm going to get my collectibles. I'm going to use my trophies, right? I'm, th for those of you guys that are wondering why I have those trophies there, there's no specific reason for why, right? I just have it there because I just don't, I didn't have the time to go into the store and then keep, you know, selling them off. So that's why they're there. So at any time I can just go over here and you go ahead and you do the red zone packs and then you just go ahead and get these things like that. That's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing with them. All right, for those of you guys that are asking, yo, g -Ma, you still got all those trophies? Yeah, I'm gonna spend all of them to get the rookie premieres done. It's just like, I guess I'm lazy with it, that I don't wanna have to do this all, you know, but you're getting 25K per, you do the math, I'm gonna have a decent amount of coins, I'm gonna put that all into the rookie premieres, and I should be able to get everything done with that. Okay, so that's the way that I'm completing it. Uh, with the, you know, I got the Mutt Rewards, gave me one, I got the endorsements that gave me another one, I sold off, um, a lot, a lot of the cards that I had miscellane miscellaneous in my binder, and I also took advantage of the other exchange sets because those were also questions that I got. So these other exchange sets right here, I did all of these. You know, the 91 and 92 for the draft player, I did the 92 and 93, all these. Make sure you exhaust all of these to get all the collectibles before you start getting the 93s. That's how I got everything. And it's all documented for you guys, whether I streamed it on Twitch, YouTube, made you a video, it's all there. So now, Everyone should be able to get those challenges done. R remember, generate best lineup is like the best case scenario. Make a team, generate best lineup, it's gonna work. If that doesn't work and you don't wanna do all that, just remove the team visuals and make it empty. You know, square button, take them out, go in the game. Either way, you'll be able to do it because I'm able to do it and EA hates me. So if I'm able to do it, you can do it too. I wanna thank you guys for watching. You enjoy your day, stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.